again YouTube, my name is Hesse Carl, back with a new tutorial and today we're going to be showing you basic sword movements. Today the weapon we're going to be using is a katana. Now the katana is a Japanese weapon used by samurai, of course you know, blah blah blah. Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to properly wield it with basic techniques that will help you out learning at the beginning. But then later on, later on, there will be intermediate and there will be advanced. So right now I'm going to teach you the basics. You don't have to advance, you learn your own technique. Usually at the end of the week, you are advanced. So anyway, it depends on how you progress. Now, sword is how you wield it is between how you hold it. So anyway, let's get started. So first, let me tell you the defenses. Quite simple and easy. The head is straight. Be lower than the blade and keep the blade right here in front of you. You have to be under the blade for the head. So if somebody to bash you right here, you need to be right under the sword. Now, the second one is your arm. So usually, if somebody goes to your left arm, you usually want to go right here, change your body. But keep your body straight for the main power back. So left, head. So see, now you got your head. So now, if it's somebody coming for your leg, right, you want to transfer it like that. See, but keep your leg in the same spot. If you have to move it, go ahead and pace it back. And then pace back again for a strike. Anyway, the same side applies the other one. The left, you know, your right leg. Now, also your right arm is also going to be up here. So look. Now, when you do it with your arms, it's going to be the opposite hand. It can also be the opposite leg with the opposite hand, but it's best to do it like this with the opposite hand. So now, somebody come for your gut, of course, the same thing here, or two hands, or even like this. Now, somebody come for your back, easily what you would do is you would just Turn around, put the sword back and move back because if you don't know where the sword blade is, you're going to get it in your cut here or here. If you don't know the flick in the time, but keep that foot back. See? One, back. Just like that. I just hit the seal. Back. See? More force back out. See? Back. More out. Anyway, after you've learned that, you've learned the basic defenses. So anyway, there's more to all kind of other defenses and stuff. So anyway, time to teach you how to do the offense. Now, this first move, you need to know how to swing your sword. Now, this is a two-handed sword. So in most cases, you need to have your own stance. Now, the basic stance for this sword, for any sword, is usually two feet spaced out and straight. Knees are, knees are kind of bit for any defenses, but you need to stand Keep the sword ahead of you. Keep the blade in front of you because you have the blade backwards. It's like you're blocking. You're going to end up cutting yourself. So, anyway, keep the blade straight and look at your opponent and where they're going to swing the sword. Now, we'll keep eyes on the sword because you don't know. Keep eyes on the target. And know it's hard. You have to do two things at once. So, if you don't do that, you're going to be screwed. <laughs> so, anyway, when you're in the defense, when you're ready to attack, you can transfer that and push off. Now, after you learn your basic stance. Now, my stance, now I don't know any, if anybody has any judgment, let me know. But my stance is usually is have one hand right here, have one foot back, one foot in the front, one foot like this. Now, only I do this, so when I'm ready to run up, this leg has enough strength, this leg can jump out, and this hand's right here to usually knock off a sword. You know you can block swords with two fingers. You usually just have to push it off the side and be careful you don't cut yourself. Anyway, I usually have two fingers up like this and one arm like that. So when I'm ready to go, block like that. And then while I'm in the block, while I'm in the block, I can swing. You see what I'm talking about? Everybody has their own defense strategy. So now, let's teach you how to swing. So we're going to do it in basic. So anyway, this is a two-handed sword, but you can also just one-handed. But best to do it two-handed. First master with two-handed, because at first it's going to be heavy. So the, basically, a katana attack is a star pattern. One's right here, one's right here, one's right here, and one's also bashing now. Now the bash is usually not the best attack for a katana. Usually a long sword is probably be the best. So anyway, with this katana, we're going to teach you the star movement. So anyway, if I'm going to show you two-handed and one-handed. So two-handed, you want to easily in your stance. Now come up. Now usually with a katana, you want to put it up to your head, at least here. Keep the sword straight. And then when you're ready, swing. So easily, get ready, up, swing. 
So you get power. So you push the sword up. If the sword's too heavy, you get swing it. But keep but you need to control the sword. So anyway, I'm gonna teach you that. One more time. Up and then down. Now, let's show you slowly. Up, about my head, down. Go we'll kick it straight up to his leg. Now let's do it fast. Up. <laughs> okay. Now you know how to do that. Now let's do it the other side. So I can see it up. Now bring this up. And then go back down. Ready? Up, down. Now you got two. Now do this one handed. Now you're just gonna go right here. Up, down. Now you some one handed, the sword drags for momentum. So usually crashing back with the sword is usually the wise of one hand. So now let's do it with the other hand. So ready? Up, like that. Now to do it from the side is quite easy too. So a stance, up, like that. Or we'll easier with two hands. Up. We can either stay just down, like side. Usually you want to bring it back like this, and then that. Same with this side. See, to so bring it back. And for this right here, same deal. So now, if you want to get swing over here, you just do it. These side swings is usually up, bring it in front of your head, then go to the side, but tilt the sword. So also do the same side right here. Up, tilt the sword, slice. Like this, up, up. So now you learn the basic moves with two hand and one hand. So now, let's move to one hand. I think your arms are getting no strength. Hopefully they got no strength like me, but to swing your sword with two hands and it's easy. Now it's time to move to one hand. Now while doing one hand it swings require more, a little bit more momentum transfer. Now teach you how to do combination attacks or a combo. So we're gonna start with the basic start half of a star. Usually an X. Okay, first one is okay, get in your stance. You're gonna come up one way hand, come back around two. Now you have two, now you have an X, which is half of a star. So, anyway, stance ready? One, two. Now, okay, I'm gonna do a slow. One, swing the sword around, two. Ready, go. One, two. See? Now, if you're ready for that, now I think you've learned this, it's time to learn to do a full star. Now, I call this, this star pattern attack. Pretty much, you have a pattern of a star that you really could. Now anyway, imagine a star right here, but you have to complete it in a certain type of pattern. So anyway, you can do this in any kind of pattern, but make sure the pattern is full. Now here's the basic. So, okay, so first, I'm going to teach you. Stance first. Tilt the sword. First, this is first. So, Alright, so now we're gonna go do this again. First. Now, we want to come back for the other one. Second. So now we'll do it again. Second. Now we're gonna go back over here. Now tilt it. Now this is the straight that was talking about. Third. Now we get over here and bring it back. Now this right here, put your hand right behind the sword on the heel. Then you push it down and push this one up. And then it's going to roll around the hand right here. And you're going to slide your hand and grip it just like that. And then once it's gripped, you're going to go back again like that. And then when you get to the final finish, grab the other hand of the hilt and you just slam hard as you can. Now nah, don't break nothing in the house. I don't advise you do this in the house like that because I can get that. So anyway, I'm going to show you slowly again ready one two three swing the arm around four now the last swing five now i'm going to show you fast ready one two three i messed it up okay now i'm going to show you again one two three four five just like that now I'm going to show you even faster. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Also practice this. Now my legs are used to this song. I really didn't hurt. One, two, one, two. Practice this to learn how to transfer the sword. 
<laughs> now, I just usually would get workout and wounds with this. So be careful with doing this. You end up hitting things. Now I'm gonna show you the attack one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Now, anyway, now you've learned a basic star attack pattern. Later on, I will teach you intermediate moves. So I hope this video tutorial helped you out with sword skills. Please like, subscribe, share this video, comment. My name is Hesgar Carl, of course, like on the channel. I love you, Caitlin. I'll see you guys. The box is alright. I love you, Caitlin. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's subscribe. Warning, the project you are about to attempt is at a huge risk. Please make sure to follow all safety guidelines in your area. Also, watch out for kids that's nearby and please be careful. Everything is done at your own risk.